Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python tutorial and this time I'll be working on this abalone data set with data visualization. So here's where I import it and here's all the columns and five rows with the dot head and basically there's all these parameters um, and they're all just numbers continuous numbers except for sex which is like um, either male female or infant and then rings is the age basically of the abalone and if you don't know what an abalone is it's kind of like a shellfish um, so this data set is used for the regression of their age all right now let's go to the cool part so we import matplotlib and seaborn. We have the figure size. And here I make the plot. And this is called a pair plot, what you see here. And it's used for multivariate analysis. So basically, um, each row is its own feature. And then each column is also its own feature. And it's like wherever the two intersect, they have a scatter plot which can tell you the correlation between the values and then I have the different colors you can see here in the tiny legend it says um, sex and that's the color of the dots on the scatter plot so that's with the Q parameter and I pass in that it's um, the sex column all right so there I let it have the legend so that people know what color is what sex and um, so this is the kind of thing you get and you can see the diagonals those are the distributions of the individual um, single variables kind of like a KDE so it's separated into the different sexes for each one and you can see here, this uh, is a good example, ring, the, the number of rings on the abalone with the rings itself, it has a KDE that looks like this. And you can see that male and female are kind of overlapping, while green, the infant sex category, is a little bit less. That means like, oh, by the way, um, the age of an abalone is based on the number of rings that it has. So it's just like rings times 1.5, I think. So you can see that the infant's distribution is a lot closer to zero than the rest. And the rest down here is not that important. It's like I one hot encode. No, wait, let's see, what do I do? No, I just turn um, the objects or like the, the string based info into numbers. That's not important for this. Um. And here's all the other distributions. Let's see. So height does have a correlation with rings. So like the higher your height is, the more rings you have. So that kind of makes sense. Like if you're a larger abalone, then you're probably older. And of course, all of these do have a similar um, correlation. And the, the weight is also having a similar correlation to the height. And that's about it for this video on pair plots in multivariate analysis with Seaborn and matplotlib. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.